And there is immense value, I think, to the consumer, right? You know, stats are always cool, video highlights are always great. But then I was just thinking for for the players, especially maybe, you know, the players who are not as as established and maybe the ones that are coming up, I was thinking that those those data points and the sheer amount of data that you collect and, you know, it's kind of, it's labeled and it's structured in a way that you can actually extract value from it. You can extract value about the opponent, you can extract value about your own kind of style of play, you can see what's working, what's not, basically without actually making an effort of, of tracking it yourself or having any wearables because, you know, IBM's already done the job for you. I was just wondering in terms of the can players use that data? Do they have access? Can they request it? Or what is the status quo in that? Yeah, so we've got an, uh, a system on site called the Women and Information System, mm -hmm. which has got all of the statistics that we've ever captured at Wimbledon back to 1990. So it's, I think it's got now about 58 million data points in it, um, plus all of the match records back to 1877. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's also got match analysis video content. So for if you're playing on one of the six show courts over the last uh, five or six years, then we also have a video file um, where all of your match data is embedded in the video file. So if you just want to go and mm. see your, your unforced errors or your break points, you can literally just jump to all of those components in the video. Is it just to interject, is it available for juniors? Or? Uh, so the data is provided for juniors as well, oh. yeah. As a, as a kid, um, data. so um, that's available on site. But we also we have a, we built a personalised website for the players uh -huh. um, called the Player Website, um, and that's built on our sort of Bluemix um, platform. So it provides lots of access to various different services that we've got, um, and we provide access to um, their match data. Their video file is sent to them. They get a personalised order of play. So as soon as the order of play is out, they get a push notification to their mobile device, mm -hmm. telling them that. You know, you're playing third on whatever court, whatever it is, so that they can start to prep their day the next day. They get that notification before it goes out into the public. They get access to their racket stringing information, how much they've spent on their food, where they are with their prize money, all of this information in one place. So basically, as soon as they've come off court, they will get a match analysis report, um, which is all of their tactics, all of their you know, serve percentages, all the way down to their individual point trails. Um, and then they also get the video file, so pretty much by the time they got off court, back and out of the shower, that's all sitting there waiting for them to analyse as soon as come. That is so impressive. And what, what kind of feedback are you getting from the players on that? Yes, I mean, we know they use it a lot. We know that they, and we can see the records of who's logged into the website and, and been accessing it. We know that um, it's a key component for any coach in terms of preparing a player for the next for the next event so you know they're going in against player b and they've got various tactics that they're going to try in order to win you know that analysis report will show the coach immediately whether or not they executed on the game plan whether they shifted from plan a to plan b set by set because it's all broken down by sets as well so um it's quite a rich set of analytical information do they just thinking about are there any any limitations on using that data for example can a player say you know, I don't want my data about my shots and things of that nature shared with other players for competitive purposes or anything else. Or is it all kind of available in this manner? So the data is available in the system on site, so any player can go in and have a look at it. Uh, we don't provide, we provide a bespoke service. So if you came in and said, you know, can you tell me what I did here, there and wherever, then we can provide that to you. We don't provide bespoke service on your competitors. So, yeah. so you can come in and say, I want to know everything about Fred, who I'm playing tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and the r rationale for that is that we, they want a very level playing field. So you might have all the backing of your tennis federation and 15 people around you and a performance analyst and a data scientist yeah. and I, I might be on my own yeah. um, and, and it's just me. Now, is it therefore fair that you get all of that analysis that, and, and data at Wimbledon when I haven't and the, the route that Wimbledon have taken is a level playing field, everyone gets access to the same level of information. Um, what you're able to do in your performance coaching and your preparations and the rest of it, that's mm -hmm. up to you. And obviously people earn more money than others. And, you know, one of the things they'll reinvest in is their coaching staff. And, you know, Carl Edmonds has done a significant amount of that and how he's invested in his team as part of his development to get him to where he is now. 